Hello everybody! Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be solving radical inequalities. Sometimes the inequalities scare people. Not so scary. We're going to solve them just like we did the radical equations with a twist. All right, so let's solve this like we normally do. We do opposites to get the variable alone. So let's square both sides. Those are arch enemies. 3x minus 1 is less than 4. Plus 1, plus 1. So 3x is less than 5. Divide by 3. I get x is less than 5 thirds. Are we done? Are we done? Nope. Here's where the twist comes in. We have rules when it comes to square roots or even roots. I can't have negatives inside there. So we're going to take what's inside there and say, hey, that's going to be greater than or equal to 0. Plus 1, plus 1. 3x is greater than or equal to 1. Divide by 3. And I get x is greater than or equal to 1 third. So now we have to put those together. So in order to see it best, let's graph them. All right, one third's the smallest, and that or equal to, so it's a solid dot. Five thirds is the largest. Now, less than five thirds, greater than or equal to one third, that's right in between. So that's a conjunction. Greater than or equal to one third and less than or equal to five thirds. The proper way to write a conjunction is not with the word and. Okay? Let's try the next one. Same thing, but look, we flippied. We've got a greater than and or, or equal to. Square both sides. Oops, don't cross out that one. 2x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 36. Add the 4 is 40. Divide by 2 is 20. x is greater than or equal to 20. I think you guys can handle me skipping the steps. Now again, let's take what's inside the radical. 2x minus 4, greater than or equal to 0. Remember, it can be 0, because the square root of 0 is 0, my hero. All right. Add 4. 2x is greater than or equal to 4. Divide by 2. x is greater than or equal to 2. Let's graph. So greater than or equal to 2. And greater than or equal to 20. Where do they intersect? Right here. So x is greater than or equal to 20 is my solution. You might say, it's my only solution. Well, no, it's an infinite amount of points. We go 20, we go up forever. All right, now, let's see if I can trick you with something. This beat is my recital. I think, you know, a little run DMC never hurt anybody. All right, so let's look right here with this one. What happens if we do cube root? Say cube root of x plus 1 is O greater than 2. Well, what's the opposite of cube root? Seriously, what's the opposite? What? What'd you say? Oh, cube it? Okay. There you go. There you go. Cube both sides. X plus 1 is greater than 8. Minus 1, minus 1. X is greater than 7. Do I then have to check what's inside there? No. There's no rule where I can't take the cube root of a negative. Because think about it. The cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. I can do it. It's only on even roots. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this makes sense for you. And don't forget, be safe.